Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a Fantasy Harvest Moon. So, in the last episode, we participated in the festival and honestly weren't able to do much. But, you know, we started being able to cook, which is fantastic in my opinion. So, today is actually Russell's birthday. And not only is it Russell's birthday, but after I finished off the episode yesterday, I remembered it's actually the day we get a few things done. We get our watering can back, which is fantastic. We get to go in and get the, uh see what he did with the grimoire scale because apparently he was supposed to make some kind of weapon with it all right and besides all that i do have to show a few things today so we're gonna start getting into that stuff i'll kind of keep that a surprise for now but you know later in the day i'll start showing it for now just take care of all this lumber Ooh, a skill up nice Let's head to Tauros just to take care of the day. Try to take care of this stuff early today rather than how late I'm normally doing it. Probably shouldn't have eaten that, probably should just throw it on the ground, but eh, whatever. There we go. Slip by these guys. Destroy this spawner while we're here. Apparently get a skill up and get hit at the same time. Now that we're done with the top fields up here, and 9am has rolled around, we're gonna head into town, grab our stuff, and then head back to Mount Gigant to take care of- Yes, I do. May I speak with you? Blimey, you defeated a dragon, you became the real deal, I- Okay, how about... Did you finish Grimoire's sword? I finished Grimoire's sword, I had to change your heart. Take it, I tell ya. Are you sure? For better or for worse, you have something important to a special person, eh? Do your best, I... Thank you very much. So, it hasn't really been explained yet, but Grimoire Sword is actually a bit of a ceremonial blade. It is not a weapon. It is actually... A sword carved out of Grimoire scale, purely for ornamental purposes. It is actually a marriage gift item. Ma marriage gift... A proposal item? Proposal item. That's the word I was looking for. You give this to marry someone. One specific person. If you want to marry Sharon, keep this sword and give it to her when she's at 10 love points. There will be a bit of a criteria for it, but, you know, it's a simple Google search, or I'll probably show you how the process works later on. Can you forge a tool for me? Okay, here's what you wanted. A tin-plated watering pot. So, this is our water pot now. It is a fancy thing. Used to water fields, a little heavy. It can hold water for 24 squares. So, finally, we're able to do double the work, you know? Over three full squares worth. That is a very good feeling. So, let's head up to Mount Gigant and get to work. Okay, we're gonna wanna head up here first. I. I think we can do it at this spot up here. And when you come up here, as a reminder, bring your fishing pole with you, it's kind of important. I think it's actually down here. Okay, pull my sword. Hey, cluck a doodle. Right here. And now let's go fishing. Fishing dungeons works a bit differently than fishing in the ocean or fishing in the rivers around town. Um, each different area will have a different set spawn, and you can get the junk that you can normally get in, you know, the rivers and things like that, but you can also get some really rare fish that are exclusive to the dungeons. And that's what we're going to be hoping for. I can go and do something in town, but... I'm actually hoping to get one of the fish that are in here. If we can do that, then we can fry it up and give it over to Russell as one of his liked gifts. And he'll really appreciate that on his birthday. Another can. It's not very likely that we'll be able to do this, so around noon I'll probably give up if we can't. But... Eh. Worst fishing rods. Oh, cherry salmon. Nice. I say that's nice, but I think that's a really common fish now that I think about it. 
another cherry salmon. So our fishing rod isn't very good, so we're probably not going to be getting very good fish here. But if there's an opportunity to do it like this, I'd like to. Another cherry salmon. You gotta love that. Yeah, we're just getting a lot of cans and a skill up. Nice. So after this one, if this isn't the correct fish, then I'm just going to teleport back and we're going to go with plan B. Nope. Alright. Teleport back. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to go into Newman's store. Yes, I have. Show me what you have. We're gonna buy a small egg. And while we're here, I'm going to pick up an orange. Actually, I'll pick up a full stack of oranges. Because we're gonna need them later and I think they're only sold during the spring. So I don't want to forget. And just for a fun thing later, we're going to buy one more egg. Also, if you noticed, he sold he's selling his strawberries for three times the price that we sell them for. So, you know, we're kind of being ripped off. Now that it's noon... They're closed on Mondays. <sighs> I didn't plan this well. I didn't plan this well at all. This is really unfortunate. Okay, so what I was trying to do was I was trying to make fried rice. The issue with this is that because I was trying to do fried rice, I can't do it without this being open. You have to be able to buy oil. And I don't have oil or rice. So give me a second to look up a good alternative. Okay. The only chance we have of being able to do this is to catch one of those fish that was plan A. And that's unfortunate. Thank you very much. So I also forgot something. I kind of forgot. I knew it was here. I thought it was after Mount Gigant that you had to do this, but apparently it's from the beginning of the game. Has the magic book been delivered? Teleport for 2,000. A magic book left by a legendary magic circle it describes the useful magic that returns you to houses in a flash. Buy it. So now we can return home in the same way that we can use escape. In later rune factories, those are both the same spell. In this one, they didn't think to do that, sadly. We're gonna need our sword out real quick. We're gonna try to fish in this one over here. I don't think it really matters either way. a can, of course. I have a feeling like I'm not going to be able to do this. This is really unfortunate. Less than an hour remains. A rainbow trout. I don't think that's one of the ones I needed. Nope, I need a Crucian Carp or a Gabellio. And, you know, that's neither of those. I wasn't able to do it. This is really unfortunate. Sorry, Russell. No birthday gift for you. If I had thought about it yesterday, I could have bought the oil and everything else I needed. But I didn't think about it. Though I'm really not sure I actually can catch this right now. I might literally just have not good enough rod. Then again, I got the rainbow trout and that's one of the rare fish here. Or at least one of the less common ones. Alright, let's just crack these open and go. <sighs> well, that sucks. Sell so, cherry salmon, a rainbow trout, bronze, silver, gold. 
All right. Let's head up to the bathhouse. Hey, Laura. Melody runs this hot spring all by herself. Isn't that amazing? Do you know what else is so amazing? This strawberry. Actually, I don't like taking baths so much. <laughs> Xavier told me he doesn't like baths either. Bathing's too sissy for wild guys like us. But there's a difference between being wild and being dirty, you know? Huh? Really? Xavier didn't tell me that part. That's because Xavier's a pansy. Using the frying pan, we're going to cook a cherry salmon to get salted cherry salmon. And using the knife set, we're going to chop them up. So, this is worth 50. They're normally only worth 10 apiece. And... These are worth 100. So, sashimi is the way to go with them. Let's cook them all up. We're going to ship a sashimi and a salted cherry salmon. All of those, because we just don't need them. And now we're good to go. I'm gonna head into Tauros Cave, see if there are any more logs down in the basement, and then, you know, just keep up the good work. Every day I'm just trying to make the most of it. I'm trying to get as many logs, as much money as possible, that way we can get our house upgrade as quickly as possible. And from there, we can start cooking more, we can start, you know, smithing, we can do everything. The game is open to us at that point. Kind of. Also, you may wonder why I, haven't, why I haven't opened up the next cave. I mentioned there was a little bit of a roadblock. And we'll be getting into that probably tomorrow. But for now, I was just kind of busy today. You know how it is. Alright, perfect. An axe. Or, a stump. I have an axe already. Skill up. Heading here just to fight a, a troll. Sorry, not a giant, a troll. We do not need to fight those, though. Hey, Ignis. Spawn real quick for me. Stop spamming it. Here we go. No, okay, so you have to get out of the dungeon to be able to use teleport to go home. That's why I wanted to test. We're about to be level 36. This is kind of great, actually. Since I have a lot of energy, I'm going to use up my fish right here. Head up to the blender to use up a single orange. So I'm only cooking level 20, so it's not a very good chance. But I think I have a chance of making the relaxed tea leaves, so I want to give it a shot. So I'm going to use up my energy doing this. I'm not even getting close to it. Alright, I used up three of them and I don't want to use up any more because some of them are actually hard to get. So... I could grind it out, but I don't think I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to put away my stuff and just head to bed. And I know this will be a short one, but I did try and show everything off today, so I think I'm just going to call the episode here after a single day. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory Fantasy Harvest Moon. We're going to be... Uh, actually, let me just make sure. Yeah, two days until the egg show. There will be another festival in only two days. We probably won't be showing it today but like in the next episode but in the episode after that i can almost guarantee it 
So guys, I'll see you then. We're probably just going to be starting to grow some more crops, you know, just dungeon diving, grinding, doing that kind of thing as I show off what kind of roadblock we're facing. See you all next time. Bye-bye.